What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is the most popular container orchestrating tool. Almost all organizations today run on microservices that are built on containers. However, since a production environment has many containers, it is hard to synchronize every one of them. That is where Kubernetes comes to the rescue. In a nutshell, Kubernetes is a container orchestration tool. It has a set of functionalities that allow you to manage and maintain any number of containers that are present in your infrastructure. Kubernetes helps with workload management and scheduling of work for containers. Created by Google, it was made open source so that the public can use it and in turn improve it further. The Kubernetes community is outstanding. Kubernetes compatibility with cloud providers in the market makes it an efficient solution for container management. Let us now understand some very important features of Kubernetes. Number 1. Automated scheduling Number 2. Self-healing capabilities Number 3. Automated rollbacks and rollouts And Number 4. Horizontal scaling and load balancing Now that we have understood it, we will move on to understand what is Kubernetes architecture. In Kubernetes, various subcomponents can be grouped into two main components. The two main components are master node and worker node. The management of a cluster is the responsibility of the master node, as it is the first point of contact for almost all administrative tasks for the cluster. Depending on the setup, there will be one or more master nodes in a cluster. This is done to keep an eye on the failure tolerance. The master node comprises of different components such as control manager, etcd, scheduler and api server. Let us understand them one by one. API server. It is the first point of contact for the entirety of the rest commands which are used to manage and manipulate the cluster. Control manager. It is a daemon that is responsible for regulating the cluster in Kubernetes. Control manager also manages various other control loops that are non-terminating. Scheduler The scheduler, as its name suggests, is responsible for scheduling tasks to the worker nodes. It also keeps the resource utilization data for each of the worker or slave nodes. ETCD It is majorly employed for shared configuration and service discovery. It is basically a distributed key value store. Worker or slave nodes Worker or slave node consists of all the services that are required to manage networking among containers. The services communicate with the master node and allocate resources to scheduled containers. The worker node has the following components. Docker container. Docker must be initialized and run on each worker node in a cluster. Docker containers run on each and every worker node. Docker container also runs the configured pods. Kubelet. The job of Kubelet is to get the configuration of pods from the API server. Kubelet is also used to ensure that the mentioned containers are ready and running. Kube proxy. Kube proxy behaves like a network proxy and as a load balancer for a service on any single worker node. Pods. A pod can be thought of as one or more containers that can logically run on nodes together. So that's all for this video. Hope you have understood what Kubernetes is, what are its features and major components. Please mention below in comments if you have any queries and do subscribe to our channel for more such informational content.